What's going on, ATL family? It is your boy, Dimitri, with Give It Gang Sports Talk. And right now, I want to come over here, man, because I want to address some things, man, that I keep seeing and I keep hearing about my quarterback, Desmond Riddle, man. I seen the little video, man, going around with Steve Smith basically disrespecting my city, disrespecting my team, disrespecting my quarterback, disrespecting the players that he that that that, that that's on his team. Like I just felt like he just disrespected all of us, man. By sitting up there saying that you ought to be glad that you didn't go to Atlanta because they don't have a quarterback right now. My thing is with this guys, and I, I'm I'm getting so fed up with this 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 all this Ritter uh Desmond Ritter slander from all the analysts and, and even fans. You know what I'm saying? Even some fans are not believing and not trusting the process, man. I don't understand where they got their facts from. I don't understand like what they've been looking at and uh during his college career. I don't know like why he's getting so much uh bad vibes, so much negative uh responses, so 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 much slander thrown his way when the guy has hasn't even played a full season. That is my number one thing. Come on now. He hasn't even played a full season yet. And he's already getting all this slender, man. Thrown on his name. Y'all just keep on. Watch and see, man. Just watch and see. Because I'm trying to figure out. People are acting like he didn't take that Cincinnati uh, co uh, college team uh, through their best, bestest years. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, I'm not understanding why he's getting so much hate. When that dude went in there, man, and he, man, listen, he became that leader, man, of that team and led them folks to the championship. Listen, man, I, I don't even want to keep even having to keep going back over that. Because that was college. Now we're talking about now. But even last season, Yes, he only played four games. Let me give y'all a few stats of them four games that he played. To me, he played better than in them four games than Marcus Mariota played in his, what, 14 that we gave him? However many games it was that he played. Sorry, somebody was calling me. Um, Like, I just don't get it, guys. He played in four games last year. 73 completions. 115 attempts. That's actually pretty decent. 63.5 completion percentage. That is good. 708 yards. Two touchdowns. No interceptions. Almost 1,000 yards, man, in four games. It's impressive to me. I don't know about y'all. Especially coming from a team that is predominantly run. First, run, 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 coming from Arthur Smith. This man almost threw for a thousand yards in four games, man. Come on, what are we talking about here? Like, come on, man. Y'all gotta stop. Trust the process, man. Give my boy a chance. And if he don't do good this year, then let's have at it. I'm gonna be goddamn getting at his ass myself. And I'm sorry for cursing, but dang, I'm getting sick of it, man. Can we please give my boy a full year up under his belt? And then after that, if he don't pan out, then we can go at him. We can go at him all. Anybody, they can go at him all they want. I'll be with y'all. But you can't keep saying we don't have a quarterback. Stop disrespecting my quarterback. You haven't seen him play a full season. Stop making assumptions. Y'all don't know what this man can do. You know what I'm saying? And all these analysts and everything that keep throwing all this. Y'all don't y'all ain't at the training camps. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't at workouts with this man. And when he 
and his work that's with his receivers. So y'all don't see what he doing. So I, I just wanted to come on here and touch on that, man, because it really pissed me off, man. And it really, I like Steve Smith, man. I like him. He he go down as one of the best receivers that I have ever seen in my 37 years of living. I ain't gonna lie. For him to be a, a real small, short receiver, man, he was a dog. I like him. But I did not like the disrespect. I'm, I'm tired of my disrespect of the quarterback, man, of Desmond Ritter, man. I'm tired of it. I had to come on here and say something. Y'all let my quarterback get his full year in, man. And then if he don't pan out this year, then we can have at it. Yeah, we can dog him. But give my dude a chance, man. Y'all didn't even give him a chance. I guess it's because he was a third-round pick or something. I, I don't know. Maybe that's what it was. He ain't getting no respect because he dropped to the third round. But I'm telling y'all, y'all just wait. He going to show y'all something. I believe in him. I believe in him. I'm going to stick to that, man. And I'm going to stick to that. That's my quarterback, man. That's who they got. They ain't choose to be the starter. So that's what it is. Y'all just suck it up and live with that. Trust the process, man. He finna go out there and he finna do his thing. Nothing but praise, man, from all his players, man. Nothing but praise. Nothing bad about Ritter. A true leader, man. Stop all the bad talk, man. I'm sick of it. Like, man, comment, man. Y'all comment down below. Let's chop it up, man. Tell me what you guys think, man. I'm sorry. That's all I have for y'all today, man. I just had to touch on that subject, man. Man, until next time, man. Peace and blessings to everybody out there, man. And I'm out. You have now been tuned in to Give It Game Sports Talk, man. Under me. Peace.